used to have a two different type of periods uh, that for purchasing we used to have a purchasing periods and for inventory we had inventory periods uh, but now coming to the fusion uh, there is only one period and that is called as a costing period so there are no purchasing periods here so there will be only inventory uh, sorry costing periods uh, are there which needs to be enabled once we run the accounting and all we'll come to that part later but this is just for information so today we are going to see the receiving part and this receiving parts comes under supply chain execution and for this the role is warehouse manager as I told last time and apart from so if you have warehouse manager you will see this icon called inventory management and apart from that uh, if you have cost accountant and receipt accountant role so based upon that two different role you will see this uh, two icons as well so first we'll see the receiving part then we'll see the receipt accounting okay now to do the receiving you need to go to inventory management now as we saw last time the dashboard on the purchase order screen uh, same way uh, there is a dashboard for the inventory management and you can see there are many different infolets available over here which says uh, which reflects different information key information like uh, if we see if you are running a cycle count it, it shows information related to cycle count if there are any open shipments then it shows the shipment details shipment lines if you are doing any inspections that has been accepted or rejected it will show the details the on hand value it shows you the current on hand value right now for your warehouse below that if there are some receipt lines uh, if you have not done full delivery into your warehouse and you have done just the receiving or some receipt lines that are awaiting the receipts or awaiting put away so delivery is renamed as a put away over here so whenever I say put away that is actually the delivery and expected receipt lines so if there are any receipt or the PO that is going to be delivered by the supplier then it will show you from one to three days if something is going to come and come to your warehouse so I'll go to task now and we can see the list of inventory transactions right like item quantities nothing but the on hand form if you want to check the on hand create miscellaneous transaction create sub inventory transfer interop transfer reservation movement request that is nothing but the move order what we used to call it move order in EBS manage transfer order pending transactions review completed transactions so all the inventory transactions uh, you can come at any point of time and search the history from here any transactions related to inventory that you can take the report out of here then manage lots manage serial number confirm pick slip and all the different tasks that are related with the inventory and if you see over here there is something called counts so there are two different type of uh, reconciliation that we can do in fusion uh, physical count and cycle count then there are shipment related tasks manage shipment lines create pick wave pick slip same way for picks and for receipts so today we are going to see the receipt part in case you want to search uh, if you want to do the receipt based on the PO number you can just uh, click over here enter the PO and click on search and system will list out the lines or if you can see this that expected receipt lines are 15 and if as for the promise date if supplier is coming on the same same time frame and coming with the delivery so you can just click over here and system will show the results what was expected and these are the list of results the system will show you so the screen is same the only thing is the due date is selected over here by default as a from tomorrow and next three days okay so we can keep it blank and even search with our own purchase order even you can search with the supplier so if you have multiple purchase order uh, related to that supplier then you can simply search over here with the supplier itself so if you see this there are multiple PO with in relation to that particular supplier so if supplier has bought a different material for the, from different PO I can just simply choose different lines from different purchase orders or if I want to choose everything at single point of time then there is a button over here or a plus like icon appears over here when you just keep your cursor be beside organization you just cl click over there and all the lines will be selected okay so it's up to you what all material has been uh, delivered to you you just select that and click on receive
Uh, now the one feature over here is that show reset quantity. Now if you click on show reset quantity, then whatever quantity was entered at the PO level, that will default over here. So if I click on this, so the PO quantity will default over here. Okay. And in case if you want to do the attachment, So you can do the attachment here, okay. So I'll click on create receipt. Uh, multiple short roster, not short roster, and control lines for okay. Just a minute, let me check the ship to location. Yeah, it is Seattle only. So second one was there on the PO. This is the last phase uh, before we create the actual receipt uh, where we can enter the shipment number, packaging slip, uh, way bill number or bill of leading. All this information can be entered over here. So just verify the details uh, before we go and create the receipt. Once everything is as per the expectations, we just click on submit and we create the receipt. So same way, uh, 
I just created one PO which was having multiple uh, reset routing. So if you see this, uh, this particular PO is having three different items and all of them are having different reset routing. So I'll just create another uh, receipt for different type of reset routing. I'll just click on receive. Now the second line is the direct delivery. Choose a sub inventory and create the receipt. Just confirm the details over here. Enter the extra information if you want to and just click on submit. Thank you.